Alrighty, we are here today to talk about the 2024 Grillmaster that's going into the limited edition family tree line from Burton Snowboards. Now this is a new board for Family Tree this year, but for those snowboard nerds out there like myself, you would know that there was a special edition run with three sizes that went out last year and it had graphics designed by Marco Grilch's uh, kids. Um, unfortunately, Marco passed and he was, you know, working with the engineers on designing this entire board. Um, great friend, amazing snowboarder, incredible father. Um, yeah, we miss him, but he did an amazing job designing this board. So I'm excited to talk to y'all about this today. We are dealing with a directional camber, 15 mils taper snowboard. Um, it does have a balanced free ride twin. Basically that means when you're set up here and you're on hard pack, this is going to ride like a twin snowboard until you get into some softer snow where the directional will take over. Um, it's a fairly wide, mid-wide snowboard. Like I am riding the 165 here and this is a 270 millimeter waist width. Uh, for 160, it's I think a 264 millimeter. Um, and it has a bunch of sizes. So we go from a 140 up to a 165 and the 155 does regular as well as a wide option. They have a pretty funny tagline where they talk about it being a dad board or a mom board or uh, kind of a 30 plus year old snowboard. I totally get that sentiment because you can tell that what Marco was doing when he was designing this is he would go out and ride in the morning with his kids and it'd be slow and playful. He would want something that he can just kind of like cruise around with, um, with them at their speed. And then as soon as he would get off and go and rip on his own or anyone in general, uh, let's say peak chair opens or something and you go from kind of doing lower speed groomers, you know, edging playful. And then now you all of a sudden you get into some deep snow, big mountain. This is still very much a snowboard for you. It does have a very nice sweet spot of being fun and playful, but also being able to get out into the backcountry or get out into free riding and ride some more advanced terrain. So I wanted to talk to you all about this snowboard because I just got back from Chile and I brought it down there so I could spend a day or two and just test it out and get kind of a feel for what this board is all about. I ended up riding it the entire time. I had so much fun riding this snowboard. I didn't even bring out my other one. Um, it was a bit on the softer side of what I'm used to. I usually ride a fairly stiff snowboard. So I did notice that a little bit, but like I said, it, w it was never, I was never riding at extreme high speeds or going super fast where I felt I needed that additional stability. I think this really thrived when it was kind of light choppy powder where there was side hits. We got in some firmer stuff down at the bottom where it was really good edge to edge and it rode really well but it also you know, had some float and was, was very stable when I was jumping off stuff. So I think that's kind of where it thrived on those days that are like potentially sneaky powder days. I will say, as you can see, there's a fairly wide, big nose here. So it does give you a ton of float. Um, it's a pretty soft nose though. What I noticed when I was riding Switch as well, it actually was nice that it was soft. It, it, it kind of allowed me to push through easier than it would be if it was just like a big stiff nose. I was still able to do threes and fives and wet eighties and it had great snap when I was hitting all the side hits. So it's almost like a great snowboard for somebody that used to go in the park and now doesn't. They ride more all mountain stuff, but occasionally they still want to do some tricks. I think this, this is kind of the setup for me and for those, those people too. Now, as I mentioned, it has 15 mils of taper. Um, that is a touch more than the hometown hero. So the hometown hero, I believe, has 12 mils of taper. Um, so there is a bit more taper in this. Um, it's also a touch wider than the hometown hero. So take that into account as well. This definitely has a home in my quiver. I will be riding it a whole bunch this year.
Now, Burton never asked me to make this video. Um, I'm just starting to do my own little product videos on the side of things that I like. And like I said, I just rode this for a week and I absolutely loved it. So um, I wanted to share that with y'all. That's about as honest feedback as I can give you. Um, and if you want some additional information, um, I do have an affiliate link in the description below. You can use that to go to the Burton site, which will give you any additional uh, information you want on this snowboard or the rest of the limited edition family tree or just family tree lineup in general. Enjoy. I hope that was helpful. I hope you got some insight into this and uh, I'll see you next time.